so you told him to stop. Don't leave. <laughs> Sean. Yeah. Eight o'clock. Tread some dangerous waters there. Open up the front door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it stops at a few people. Are we recording, Sean? You ready? Ready. I'd like to bring our regular township meeting to order. I'd like to salute the flag in a moment of silence, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Adequate notice of this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act pursuant to the public laws in 1975. Said notice was advertised in the Asbury Park Press and the Lacey Beacon was posted on the bulletin board showing the time and the place of the meeting. First on our agenda is first reading of Ordinance 2013-31 setting the salaries for the non-bargaining unit employees. Resolution, I mean, ordinance of the Township Lacey County Budget State of New Jersey amending an, an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Lacey County Budget State of New Jersey affixing and determining the salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers, and employees, and members of the governing body of the township. This is for the non union employees. Um, this is at, at 2013 and a 2014. The average uh, percentage given was uh, 2%. Motion? Move it. Second? Second. Mr. Dyko? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Abstain. Mayor Most? Yes. First reading of Ordinance 2013-32, sal setting salaries for the Teamster Local 97 bargaining unit. In ordinance of the Township Lacey County Budget State of New Jersey, amending an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Lacey County Budget State of New Jersey, affixing and determining the salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers, employees, and members of the governing body of the township. This is for the Teamsters uh, Local 97 unit. These are the gentlemen that work in the Public Works Department. This is a raise for 13, 14, and 15. It is for 13, <coughs> 1,500, or 2 percent, whichever is greater. For 14, it is 2% uh, or 1,100, whichever is greater. And for 15, it's 2% or 1,100, whichever is greater. Motion? Move it. Second. Second. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mr. Dyko? Yes. Mayor Most? <clears throat> yes. Resolution 2013-298, appointing a substitute bus driver for Resol recreation. Resolution of Township Lacey County Bush Standards is appointing substitute on the bus drivers for the Recreation Department. This is hiring Dawn Susan as an as-needed substitute bus driver. Motion? Move. Second? Second. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. Resolution 2013-299, amending 2013 Municipal Alliance grant. Resolution attached to Lacey County, Bush State of New Jersey, authorizing the execution of a grant agreement with the Governor's Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse Fiscal Grant Extension. The um, Municipal Alliance programs are switching from a calendar year basis to a fiscal year basis, so based on that, the new grant period won't start until July 1st of uh, 14. Since that's occurring, um, we need to get through January through June 30th of 14, so they're extending the grant year, and the additional amount of money that the town should be receiving is $15,515, which is half of the allotted amount of what a normal calendar year would be at this point. Motion? Move it. Second? Second. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. Resolution 2013-300, authorizing the execution of the 2014 fiscal year Fiscal Year Grant Application for the Municipal Alliance Grant Program. Resolution attached to Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing the execution of a grant agreement with the County of Ocean for the Municipal <coughs> Alliance Grant Program. This is for the new 2014-2015 grant program, which will run July 1st of 14 through June 30th of 15. The total amount of funds that we're um, applying for is $34,915. Motion. Move it. Second. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. Resolution 2013-301 requesting an extension of the 2012 DOT grant for municipal aid. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, requesting an extension of grant award for the 2012 state aid to municipalities under the New Jersey Transportation Trust Fund Authority Act Local and Aid Infrastructure Fund Program for the Lakeside Drive Road Improvements. We're looking for a six-month extension with regards to this grant application. Motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. 
Resolution 2013-302, transferring credit balances from 2013 to 2014 due to a granted senior citizen deduction. Resolution attached with the Lacey County Motion State in Jersey authorizing the tax collector to transfer credit balances from 2013 to 2014. Motion. Move it. Second. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. Resolution 2013 303 authorizing the refund of deposits held for use of municipal facilities. Resolution attached with Lacey County Motion State in New Jersey authorizing the refund of deposits held for the use of municipal facilities. Motion. Move it. Second. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. Resolution 2013 304 authorizing the payment of township bills. Resolution of the Township Lacey County Rush State of New Jersey authorizing the payment of township bills in the amount of $1,118,658.71. Motion. Move it. Second. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Uh, I vote yes. I abstain on <coughs> S2581, that is the payment to ShopRite My Employer for supplies from Municipal Alliance. And I vote no on T6077, a payment for fertilizer. Mr. Quinn? Yes. And Mayor Most? Yes. Motion approved caucus meetings of November 14th, 2013. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve township meeting minutes of November 14th, 2013. Motion? Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve membership in the Fork River Fire Company for Alexander Brower and Jonathan Smidal. Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve the raffle license for the LTHS Booster Association. Motion. Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve raffle license applications for the Lacey Elks Charitable Association. Motion. Move, Move it. Second. Second. All, Aye. All in favor? Aye. Motion to approve bingo license applications for the Knights of Columbus, the Knights of Columbus Ladies Auxiliary, and the Lacey Elks. Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anna. Anna. Yeah, I have one resolution to add on. It's resolution 305. <coughs> resolution of Township Lacey County Bush to New Jersey authorizing the hiring of contractors for snow removal. Well, with all this threat of snow, we felt it was better to get these subcontractors on the list um, the, uh, for snow removal. Again, Schedule A snow contractors will be paid $95 an hour. Schedule B will be $105 an hour. Schedule C is $175 an hour. It's based on the type and size of the equipment. Schedule A is for F-250s to F-800s. Schedule B's is F-800s or larger. Schedule C's are loaders with operators. And again, we're just getting this in place with the threat of upcoming weather. Motion. Move it. Second. Mr. Dykoff? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Mr. Sharkey? Yes. Mayor Most? Yes. That's all I have to add on. Excellent. Comments from the committee. Committee Man Dykoff. I have one thing to say and one thing only. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Have a safe and happy one. And please think of those who are less fortunate. See you next month. Thank you, Mr. Dykhoff. Mr. Sharkey. Uh, well, thank you, Mayor. I'm going to echo Mr. Dykhoff's comments. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, and that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sharkey. Deputy Mayor Quinn. And if we can keep the mayor short winded tonight, we'll be out quickly. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Also, Sunday is the Christmas parade. Um, Veronica, tw uh, 12 o'clock? I uh, know. How about three o'clock? How about three o'clock? <laughs> oh, that's right. We light the tree. Yeah, three o'clock. Uh, the old Saint, uh, the Methodist Church down in Lacey Road, and we end up here lighting up the Christmas lights at the end. So, come on out and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Quinn. Okay, I'll be short with my uh, message as well. Uh, just kidding. Um, I'd like to just uh, mention the uh, business owner when we were pulling the boat. Uh, in Riviera that time that was a little while ago um, the business owner actually showed up and I didn't I didn't even understand how he, he knew that we were pulling the boat but uh, he wrote the municipal alliance a check for three hundred dollars a cashier check and he didn't want to be identified so uh, that's the kind of people we have in this community and uh, it was really nice for him to step up and uh, I just want to thank him for that Hey, oh. Can I just say something? Sure. I, I wasn't aware that uh, it was a check to the municipal alliance, but we also got a check for three hundred dollars in my box to the food bank, which I don't know who it came from. Right. Well, he but wrote a couple of checks, so I appreciate you mentioning that. Uh, you know, like I said, he's a businessman in town, and he didn't want the recognition. But like I said, it's uh, wonderful the people that we have in here, and uh, 
You mentioned the Christmas parade. Did you mention about the food donations? Nope. Right. So please, on the parade route, uh, bring uh, non-perishables, and they'll be collecting food along the way for the food bank. Uh, it is that time of the season, and uh, we need to help uh, our folks out, our families here in Lacey Township. Um, I'd also like to, uh, we had our, uh, our anti-drug film festival and uh, it was very successful and uh, I want to thank um, the folks who hosted that uh, that night, it's the students, uh, Luke Vincentini and Patrick Moore and we had our judges, Dr. Vanessa Clark, uh, Joe Cornado from the prosecutor's office, Ralph Bertini, Kesley Morrow from the Ocean County Health Department and Tom Faulkner, our SAC coordinator and uh, the the students did a wonderful job putting it together uh, as far as the anti-drug campaign and uh, the winners were, uh, the title was uh, Don't Let Your Life Fade Away and uh, they won the $200 award from the Municipal Alliance. Second place was a Community for a Clear Mind and uh, they were given $150 for second place, that was Allison Smith. And third place was a Crumbling c Community uh, and that was Paul Toth, and he received $100. So you could see we're trying to reach out and uh, get the message. The school system's doing a wonderful job supporting all our initiatives as well. So, uh, you know, I had mentioned to the kids uh, about, um, or the students, I'm sorry, about, you know, what I've learned as far as what's going on in our community and talking to uh, addicts, and we recently had one, and. Uh, at our municipal alliance meeting and his name was Daniel Pence and it's an amazing story that he went through and he was a high school football player here in Lacey and he also uh, wrestled and uh, he was an addict and he shared his story with us and he had his leg amputated and it was a horrific experience he went through but on the positive side he received treatment and uh, he went through to Oxford House. Now, I don't know if anybody knows, but we have an Oxford House right here in Lacey Township. And it's all about counseling, which brings me to my next point, is that uh, our task force will be uh, uh, suggesting uh, an amendment to the existing amnesty drug overdose bill to our ninth legislative district. And what we're gonna be asking is uh, to uh, reflect uh, mandatory treatment. Because what happens is when when these folks, we put a police resource out there, we put our, our, our emergency services go out and rescue these people when they overdose. And then they go to the emergency room only to be released from the emergency room to overdose again. So it's a death sentence. So we really need to modify that. Though I do believe the bill, its intent is, is a good bill. Uh, but the problem with the incarceration as well our jail systems in Ocean County are full right now. So the same thing happens if an overdose happens and they arrest them and they're in jail for two or three weeks, they release them out of jail, guess what happens again? They overdose again. So that's not helping. So our point and uh, the Chief's point as well is that there should be a mandatory, um, mandatory aid for these folks to uh, get treatment and uh, followed up with uh, counselors and stuff and that's going to take an investment but you could see what it does to communities and families so uh, we'll be following up with that as well and uh, to segue um, your kids count can we talk and that's going to be a seminar that's going to be held at uh, Stafford Township Arts Center the Ocean First Theater that's on McKinley Avenue in Manahawkin that's Thursday December 12th 6 to 8 30 and uh, Keith Elias, the former runner, former running back, will be there from the Giants. And uh, if you uh, have any questions, just call 732-886-4757. Also, our Lacey EMS First Aid, they're uh, Celebrate with Santa. That's uh, Thursday, December 12th. And uh, I guess they got the year wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> Five to nine at Latitudes. And that'll be, um, again, December 12th, 5 to 9, includes buffet, cash bar, DJ, gift auction, and giveaways. Children are free, printed picture with Santa. Admission is $15, and that goes to the EMS. For tickets, contact uh, 
The president of the first aid is uh, 609-693-9510. What else did I forget here? Okay, we also have um, the recycling. I don't know if folks know, but uh, there's a tax by the state that's a, a $3 tax per ton that gets put on the tonnage surcharge, and uh, they distribute that through grants every year. So we got the grant from 2011. We received the money, and that's a check for $52,604, and that's to support our recycling activities. Obviously, Casey and Roe, they do a great job in the back to support that initiative. And other than that, that's all I have. I'd like to open the floor to public comment. Please state your name and your address. You can pull it out on the top. Don't be breaking that. That's new. No, I know. You can adjust that right where your hand was. No, on that. You can just pull knot. that forward, actually. There you go. Excellent. Oh. Regina descends the Sunset Drive, Sunrise Beach. Um, last night, I attended the Heroin Information Program at the Lacey Library. And unfortunately, it was poorly attended by Lacey residents. I was pretty surprised. Um, Chief Caproda sent out an email last week, and um, I would assume a lot of people get his emails, and I was really surprised that hardly anyone came, and it was a great PowerPoint presentation by a retired Monmouth County police officer. Um, Mr. Pangaro does have his own website. It's um, www.jpangaro.com. It's J-P-A-N-G-A-R-O.com. He does a heroin information program for the company that he works for. And on Thursday, December 5th, this program is running again in the Toms River branch of the Ocean County Library. It's well worth your time. It runs about an hour and a half. Um, the photos were shocking that he had. And now I went because I wanted to bring myself up to date. It's been a long time um, since I you know, learned about the illegal drugs, but he had some incredible, incredible photographs. He had before and after pictures of addicts. You would almost never recognize the person, they were so bad. And it was only within like a year span of time that you know, people just go so downhill, they become unrecognizable. But Mr. Pangaro teaches about all the signs and symptoms of drug use and things that parents should look out for. And this town needs a lot of help. There's so much going on in the school, you have no idea. I was actually shocked by last week's agenda. The harassment, intimidation, bullying, and suspension report was a full page and a half with almost an incident or two every single day at the high school. My son took a look at it and even he was shocked. Because most of the 1,400 kids that are there don't realize what's going on in the rest of the building. But from what I could tell on last week's report, the month of October at Lacey High School was not a pretty month at all. And again, some more people should come to the school board meeting. It's really lonely there. Um, Regina, if I could just comment on that. You know, most, we had 31 overdoses in Lacey Township uh, this year alone, and we had seven deaths. And the majority of those deaths that were in their 20s. So, uh, you know, I shared with the kids you know, how I felt about their opportunities in life if they're not doing drugs. And there's an unlimited amount of opportunities they have looking forward. But there's only three opportunities if you're an addict. The one is, when is my next high? Number two is, who am I going to steal from to get my next high? And will I die from my next high? That was so. part of the program, yeah. Um, I have some good news to share, and I had forgotten to share it previously. The Lacey Food Bank yard sale in October was a great success. And um, the bad news is I'm not going to be doing the Baywoods annual yard sales anymore in May. If anyone else wants to do it, I do have some information to share. The signs are gone. Most were weather beaten after 20 years, and the big sign was hit by a tree. I put it together with tape this year to use it one last time. But I'm going to be helping the Lacey Food Bank with their yard sales now at least once a year. Um, if people would like to help boost the American economy during this holiday season, I have some practical suggestions. First, shop locally, and I don't mean the beast from Bentonville. 
And um, there are many US-based companies, and there is a website called AmericanStation.com with lists of American companies that specifically offer US-made products. And some other suggestions I have would be a product like maple syrup that comes from five or six different states in the Northeast. It's available on eBay or just from any individual maple syrup dealer, and you know you're getting a US product that's made right here. Um, some of my other favorite U.S. companies are in Hawaii. Uh, HiloHattie.com is offering free shipping for $100 purchases. Wow. Hawaiian Host is offering free shipping for $100 purchase, and believe me, it's not hard to buy a case or two of chocolate. <laughs> and Kauai Coffee, oh. all U.S. grown on the island of Kauai. They have over 32 different flavors, both decaf and regular, and uh, they will ship all over the country. Are they shipping for free during this time? There usually is a deal for $100 free shipping. I just haven't seen it come up yet, but it could be there. And Thanks for the pointer. Hawaiian Sun products are great. Also, Kona Coffee comes from the Big Island. There are at least five Kona Coffee companies that will offer their products online and sell direct anywhere in the U.S. And there's nothing like Kona Coffee. But that's a little strong. The Kauai Coffee is good. Um, I forgot to thank everyone also who voted for Lewis and I on November 5th. Many people have been approaching me saying, oh, I voted for you and your husband. Well, <laughs> my husband. we were going to call it the 3D ticket. But um, the uh, Lewis Desenza on the um, ballot was my son, who is 19. And uh, we may give it another try next year. Now, I do have a question for the committee. Did any magical CAFR permits arrive yet in the mail from the DEP? No, they have not. No correspondence at all? No. Anything anticipated? Soon? What? No? Honestly, I have no idea. I, I mean, after the election, all kinds of magic would take place, but I guess not. Not yet. We don't know. So. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, all. Good night. Thank Appreciate you. your comments. Any further comments? Motion to close the floor. Moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn the meeting. Move, Move it. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Holy. Meeting's adjourned. Okay. Adjourn. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. This is a record. Who's the man? Yeah. <laughs> you get this one. Well experience. What's that?